To deploy this horse stock, you're going to remove the tongue retention pin, placing it in its keeper. Go to the rear of the stock, release and lower the two wheel catch plates, making certain that the area behind the stock is clear and safe. Place the vehicle in reverse, back up, and allow the stock to come to rest. The stock is ready to use now. However, the two stall unit is suitable for stationary use. Simply unhook it as you would in a normal fashion. Using the tongue jack, you're going to let the foot of the tongue jack come to rest against the axle, which it is designed to do, making certain that the hitch is released. You're going to use the tongue jack to lift the tongue free of the hitch. Once this is done, you're free to move the vehicle wherever you like. Taking a quick look at the gates and latches, showing my proprietary soft shut latch. Closes securely, will open under pressure. This is especially useful with the side load gate. If you're by yourself and you lead a horse in, you need not be at the end of the gate to secure it. Once you have a horse in the stock, you may need to crowd it to the front or rear using the chest and rump bar and the crowding slots provided by the stock. You can position the horse exactly where you need it. This bar is light, easy to use, secures itself very well both in storage and in use. Quick and easy to remove in an emergency. Also to help positioning, there's an incorporated narrowing bar available. Lowers into a couple of different positions to help take space up. It's handy, easy to use, and always there if you need it. Another feature, the removable separation panel between the full stall and the mare stall. Uh, if it's not needed and perhaps you need access to the lower extremities of the horse, it's easily removable. The emergency removable corner post is another proprietary feature. It instantly releases the side and rear gates as well as getting the post out of the way should you need to get a horse out in a hurry or have a horse go down in the stock. Another feature that squeezes more utility into this horse stock is the reversible head retention tube. It allows a smaller animal to be retained at the lower height of the U-notch in the mare entrance gate. The ladder you see is supplied and stored on the unit so it's there when you need it. From stationary mode to go back into transport, you're going to want to make sure that all equipment is picked up, put away, that the stock is clear of any foreign objects, the gates are latched and secured, at which point you're simply going to line your hitch up and use the tongue jack to weight the tongue onto the hitch and uh, get it hooked up. Once that happens, it's the same as uh, hooking onto it whether it's already in transport mode. Uh, the only difference being you're going to need to make sure that after you get your safety chains and lights hooked up and your hitch latched, uh, that you also retract the foot of the tongue jack. Once this is done, you essentially are in the same position had you never unhooked from it. And uh, this can be a little bit easier if you have a backup camera or somebody to help you, but it's not terribly difficult. Um, once you're all set and everything is clear and you've ensured the area is safe, just go ahead and put the vehicle in drive. You're going to pull forward. It will come down into stow mode, ready for transport. Be sure to replace the pin, the retention pin, into the tongue. And raise the two wheel catch plates at the rear. Secure them with their integrated latch. And uh, you're ready to go. I appreciate you watching. If you have any further questions, please reach out to me through the website and I'll be sure to get back to you. Never hurts to double check anything.